All right, y'all. So your underlying energy here is the hangman. So the hangman is all about being stuck in limbo, things not moving. It's it's really a dragging energy. It surely is. But I really feel like it's because of a certain um, aspect in your life that needs to have a different perspective seen. I think that right now, the whole situation, the whole reason why the whole, you know, like why you're stuck in limbo, why things are taking its time and really probably no action be taken at all is because there's something that you need to see. There's some information that you need to look at um, before you can proceed forward, okay? And it's interesting that you have the card that comes right after the hangman, which is death. So um, I do feel like right now there is some information that needs to be seen right now because there because there is time for something to be released, I feel like. Um, there's something that needs to be released ultimately. I'm trying to put this, you know, under the energy in the right position so that way you, you guys can see it throughout the whole reading because I'm going to refer to it a lot. Now, for your current state of being, you guys have the Four of Wands, which is really, really exciting. I'm really happy to see this. The Four of Wands does indicate that there is um, a feeling of of reaching a goal or reaching a certain position in your relationship that you are happy with, that you have um, ascended or reached a higher sense of commitment. And I feel like this is a really, a really good place and a, a place of celebration that needs to be hit because I think it's, it took a lot of work to get here. Um, so right now I feel like there's, there's definitely a need to celebrate or if you guys haven't been celebrating this is your, or you guys have been celebrating this is a good time to do that because you guys have come a certain long way and you guys have reached a place of stability and where you guys can really start to branch off and really begin to put some real work into your relationship so this is an excellent card to get for your current state of being now in your goal aim and ambition you guys have your ace of cups okay so you guys feel like you guys have um, you guys want um, a, a new a new beginning, a new beginning in love, a new beginning in um, um, emotional healing, emotional openness. I feel like for a lot of you guys, if you guys are single, maybe you guys have gotten to a place where you guys feel more committed within yourself, feel you know, gotten to a higher place of, of a higher level of understanding. I feel like you guys have I definitely you know improved yourselves a lot. So now you guys are ready to begin love. Ready you guys want a couple love or you guys truly want to heal um some uh, uh through the old issues that you guys have in regards to love and be open to it. And if you guys are in a relationship already, I feel like you guys really want to begin you know opening up and being emotionally open. A vulnerability in itself, okay? Um but this is a really good card to get especially with love, I feel. All right, but the thing that's keeping you from getting to the Ace of Cups is this is the Queen of Swords. So I feel like there is a need to have a clear idea of what your truth is. I feel like right now maybe there isn't. There's no idea of what's going on or what you guys stand for, what you guys want. Um, your truth is your truth, but I don't know. I don't think you guys know what your truth is. For some of you guys, you guys could be, you know. This new love could be because you don't have a queen of swords or the person that you feel like is the ideal person for you, which is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius for some of you guys. Um, you guys maybe want to start something new with this person here and you don't have them currently around you. Um, or this is because, again, this could be because you guys are dealing with some truth that maybe you haven't faced of your own. Um, maybe there is something in regards to something that you need to communicate as well or someone else needs to communicate but I feel like it's truly it's really you guys talking about you guys because you guys are cardinal signs and cardinal signs would come up as queens this communication is important I feel like there's a lack of communication at this time um, that's really you know to initiate this ace of ace of cups to begin this this new place in love here okay now um, I do feel like the reason why the queen of swords is blocking you from getting the ace of cups is because of the ten of cups i feel like there's something in regards to something either something emotionally has ended with this person or it's because um your truth has a lot to do with what you feel as happily ever after probably you're not communicating your truth maybe you know what it is that you want um and the reason why you haven't communicated it is probably because you don't want to destroy the dynamic or you're trying or you're enjoying something right now you're currently in a place of bliss. I feel like this is honestly not a bad reading. Um, I feel like though, maybe, I feel like with the Ace of Cups, well, the Ace of Cups, with the uh, Ten of Cups, um, obviously because we're going back from Ace to the beginning, I feel like, yes, there's an emotional ending here and I feel like you guys are trying to, you know, alleviate that. You're trying to leave that behind. I feel like this maybe it wasn't the best ending here or for some of you guys, this was a wonderful ending. You guys have gotten to a higher place of commitment. So this is what this is, right? Celebrating that. 
but now it's all about communication and, and finding your truth in your relationship so um that's really interesting that this would come up here um yeah perhaps whatever perhaps the the reason why you're not being open about what it is that you want or you're not sure what it is that you want because you just completed something already you'd have no idea of how to even begin with the ace of cups because you just completed it that could be at that too um so you know we're gonna i'm gonna you know touch on this a little bit we're gonna go ahead and go through the rest of the cards here and maybe uh this you know the, this whole situation will start to make more sense for you okay now for your best path to follow, you have the eight of pentacles. So talk about working on something, really focusing and putting your efforts toward it. Um, and really, you know, putting your, you know, your hands and knees into the dirt and really start using your elbow grease, I feel like. So there's a lot of need to kind of work on something to really fo put your focus and hard work and dedication towards something, I feel like in the relationship. That's why this is like a lot of celebration here. There's nothing like, there's a lot of stuff going on um, in regards to happiness and reaching a place of, of st stability and commitment but also recognizing that there is work that needs to be done after this and it's not where you're going to stay because that's what the four of wands does indicate it's a good place to be but you're not you're not meant to stay here you have more places to ascend into it you know to reach now for your um, emotions you guys have the queen of wands which is awesome so this person either you have this someone that's an aries leo sagittarius in your heart right now and they are like the you know the focus in your life right now you, you love them very deeply um or you guys feel more confident in yourselves you guys feel very in, you know strong and independent i feel like you guys have gotten your bearings and you know your strengths you know your abilities to manifest you know you see yourself in a very, very strong position, I feel like. I feel like also you guys are around a lot more people. You guys are eccentric. Um, I feel a lot more eccentric. Um, um, I feel like you guys are being, you know, around more people. So you feel like, you feel very, you know, feel very, um, feel very good in your energy right now. Very vibrant and very creative right now, I feel like as well. Um, again, this person that you're interacting with doesn't have to be an, um, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Gemini or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but they could be someone that's very good at communicating, very direct and very straightforward, um, and have a very feminine vibe to them. And they have this very really ruthless, no, you know, not got taken energy. This person is not gonna play. And I feel like this is you guys as well. You guys are not, your guys are done dealing with some BS. So you guys are really, you know, making it happen for yourselves. You know, I feel like you guys know what, you know, you know, you're not gonna take no BS. But at the same time, you don't really know what your BS, you know, know, not know what your BS, but know where to start or know what your truth is in regards to new love. I feel like you're having to gain a new perspective of that. There's a perspective that you need here, which is very interesting. It does tie with the hangman to get to the Ace of Cups. I feel like there's a perspective of your own that you need to have to have, you know, to get to this Ace of Cups. Because, and I think it has a lot to do with, the, you know, the Ten of Cups here. Because of something ending, just be, uh, because you guys reached a, a goal, you know, a certain period of, you know, certain height of commitment, like I said, I feel like this is a good energy. And right now, the only thing that's keeping you from progressing and getting to starting something new again, starting something after this place, you know, this foundation was built, is that's not, you don't have a clue what, the, what to do next. Because, again, there's something about a perspective that's needed right now. Now, your hopes and fears, you have death. And I feel like... This is talking about releasing of some sort. I feel like you guys are afraid of something being like of something going. I think you guys also need to ultimately want to transition and change. I feel like um, for a lot of you guys, it's either you're afraid to let go of something, but you're also really wanting change. I feel like you guys are really wanting to uh, um, transition and get the gunk out and really have uh, make room for the um, happiness that you guys are wanting to manifest into your lives, with it, whether this is with a person, with work, or other, okay? And I really feel like this is a good energy to have. Um, but I feel like maybe the releasing is needed here for a certain perspective that you have about starting, about how you go about starting love again. Maybe releasing old habits, always of thinking, always communicating. Maybe there is something like in regards to that. And if there is a need to release that. And I feel like it's something that you do want to release, but it's, you know, old habits die hard. Now, 
For your outcome, you do have the two of pentacles. So this is talking about making practical decisions, juggling things, um, and also really looking at the practical, looking at, you know, what you can do with your situation. I do feel like the, um, the emotion aspect of it is being put aside because when you're making difficult decisions or making decisions about practical stuff, it can be, it's, it's a tendency to kind of do what you feel like you should do rather than what you want to do. And I do feel like that's not always the case when it comes to making decisions um, in regards to you know practical like decisions in your relationship. It does it should stem from how you feel about the person, how you feel about the relationship, how you feel about um, you know the decision that is being made practically about within your relationship because it does because a relationship does have a lot to do with your emotions. So I do feel like be very mindful about what's going on in the future here. Like someone could be juggling two people. I do see um, possibly that I don't really see that. I feel like there's a lot of happiness here, but you could be juggling something, juggling two people. You could be or someone else could be. But ultimately, this could be like making practical decisions about how to progress, how to move forward, how to get to the Ace of Cups, how to um, begin this new phase of love that you guys have, are starting from a new, from a happy place, from a really good foundation. Um, that you guys have put a lot of work towards so that could be that right there it doesn't necessarily have to be a third party relationship okay now let me go ahead and pull you guys your wisdom of the oracle for this week okay so you all have observers so it's time to watch watch and learn watch and observe uh see something from a different perspective okay the hangman here is really really harping on that really right guy, right now guys try not to do so much but to try to observe to see things um from a different perspective okay to see things right now see what's going on watch how your your partner behaves watch how you behave in your relationship as well and i think that's what's going to get you to this you know this new not necessarily new beginning oh well, yes the new beginning but it's also going to help you see what you need to see from this stagnant energy so things are not moving right now because things are wrapping up because of a again because you got to a place of higher commitment excellent but there is a needed new perspective here a perspective of your own thoughts a perspective of how you see your relationship and with all of this tying in here i really feel like you can gain this by observing like the hangman is suggesting observing the situation and if you observe the situation i feel like you will gain that insight gain, gain that insight gain that truth in yourself what you want in the relationship what your truth is and what a, what you think a relationship is need, what a relationship needs for you to work to get this to begin this, this new process okay now i'm going to pull you guys your romance angels for the week as well okay and saw a false self mask so I, I don't think this is necessarily like the case somebody's lying. Again, like I was saying before, somebody, you know, juggling two people and leaving, you know, evidence of something going on is the fact that their emotions are not into the relationship, which is, you know, very apparent, right? When somebody's juggling two people, somebody's, this, it's going to be apparent through their emotions and how they act and how they feel around you or, or how you feel around them. But I don't think that's I don't think it's cheating per se. I don't think there's anybody cheating. But what I do see is that, yeah, I feel like there's there isn't necessarily deception, but there is some. There's no clue about what's going on or how you believe the relationship should work for yourself. I don't think that you have any idea of like what is truly what truly works for you, right? I don't know. You could be having to really redevelop how you feel and what you think about relationships. This could be about the other person. You're having to wait on them to really come up with a new way of thinking, a new way of being, a new way of seeing a relationship and how it could truly work for them. Coming up with a, a strategy and, and needs of your own. Because ultimately, your truth is what you believe as needs. And I don't think that you're deceiving anybody or being deceptive. But I do think that maybe you don't have any, you don't have a truth about what you need in the relationship. I don't think you know what you need in the relationship. So I feel like things have to kind of play out and you have to kind of go along with the relationship a little bit to kind of develop your needs in that way. Okay. There's a lot that could could happen here. And this is a general reading, so I can't get too specific with this. It could be perspective about your truth and what you need in a relationship. It could be how you communicate. And there's something that you may not be saying about a certain ending in a relationship. Maybe something actually never ended in the begin in the first place. Um, and it could be a lot of things that's going on. You know what I mean? And I don't really necessarily know per specifically. So it's really in period, you know, it's very important if you guys do want to know what's going on in your, in your lives that you do get a personal reading for this, okay? But 
in regards to everything observing is your is your primary focus seeing things from a different perspective to gain some sort of insight and gain some a different perspective for yourself ultimately it's always for yourself it's never for someone else and i feel like that is what's going to help you build you know get some new uh, a new bring in new love start something new with your current partner um, and really start helping you make decisions while your emotions can somewhat how be in you know intact in that okay